Yeah, so what we've seen evolving over the last sort of three to five years is that radiologists uh, are becoming a, a, a scarcer resource in the NHS. So the NHS at the moment has 40% fewer radiologists than they need to do all of the work in the NHS. And what's that mean, what that means is that particularly in the hours of out-of-hour um, out services, they're not able to, to staff those with their own radiologists. And so turning to companies like Medica to fill the gap in terms of, uh, of capacity. So we saw in the first half um, across the business an increase in our revenues by 36% year on year and an operating profit level of 46%, so strong first half performance. We continue to recruit radiologists to support our out-of-hour service in the UK, which is growing at about over 1% in terms of revenue per month. So really strong performance driven by organic growth, contract extensions and new wins. Where we had some challenges in the first half was really around um, managing to get enough elective capacity to, to service all of the demand possible. And that I think was due to radiologists taking a lot more annual leave in the first half of the year than we perhaps expected and also doing more to support their own hospitals. So what we're doing to answer the question in terms of in increasing our capacity is we're looking obviously at, at bringing on more radiologists um, to help us, but also looking at how we can improve the productivity of the radiologists that work with us. And that's down to investments in systems and processes. So taking each in, in turn, Ireland was the first acquisition we did back in September 2020. That business has grown very simply by taking on more clients. So when we acquired the business, it was working uh, in about four of the different hospital clusters in Ireland. It's now working in all seven of the hospital clusters. So we've grown through acquiring more hospitals and doing more for the clients that we have in terms of radiology reporting. We've also grown because there's a lot of backlog work coming out after the pandemic and we're able to scan patients using ultrasound or x-ray and also report those. And finally in Ireland we have a diabetic retinopathy screening service looking at the back of the eye screening for diabetics and that's been growing very strongly post-pandemic. In the US that's uh, also the business has been growing very strongly. We've put in a new management team since we bought the business and we've particularly invested in business development and also in developing our systems and we're seeing you know, very good growth year on year in that business since we bought it. So in both cases I think you know, they're in markets that are growing at double digits, and we absolutely see that as sustainable growth going forward. Yeah, so if we break that down into different parts of investment, I think the main part of our investment in the UK is in what we call our future tech program. And we have earmarked £6 million of investment. We're about a third of the way through that at the moment. We've delivered a new picture archiving communication system, our PACS, which is kind of the workhorse of what we do. And what we're hoping that that will do is for our radiologists to report for Medica, it will improve the reporter experience and also help to, over time, improve the productivity. So the number of reports that they're able to do for us per session that they work uh, for Medica. So that's the main thrust of our technology investment in the UK. We've also, as you'll see in, the, in, the, in our announcements, been investing uh, in both our US and Irish businesses. And that's because they're growing very strongly. And we've made the decision to bring in more resources um, ahead of that growth to make sure that we're able to continue to sustain that pace of growth. But also in the US, we're investing in proprietary systems that really underpin uh, and help us as we grow to have our own uh, systems developed. Yeah, so in terms of M&A, I think you're right, both of the, the, the deals that we've done to date have been well integrated and we've shown performing well in terms of growing revenue. Going forward, what we've said to the market is that we're absolutely focused on looking at opportunities to grow the scale of our clinical trials business. So RADMD is a great business and a really exciting market, but it's still quite small and we want to absolutely grow through acquisitions, but also uh, organically to continue to, to, to take advantage of that really exciting market.